Hannah and I'm an artist at Studio Name in Leicester and today I'm going to show you how to make an artist's book or an art book. This activity is great for children and adults. It can be as simple or as complicated as you like. An art book is somewhere between a work of art and a book. It's usually something which can be folded away and then can pop out and become quite sculptural, which is why it's very similar to a book. It quite often has pages, but the difference is that it can be anything you want. It doesn't have to have words in, but it can. It might have pictures in or it might be abstract and just have patterns in. Um, I'm going to show you one type of art book today, which is this one here, which pops out. And I've got a coloured one over here. Um, but re what I would recommend is, is there are so many different kinds of art books out there. So I would go on the internet and have a little search of artist books or art books um, after you've watched this video because there are so many different ways of making art books. And it is a real opportunity to get really creative and really imaginative um, and think about different ways to decorate and fill your art book. So I'm going to show you a basic way of folding paper to create your own artist book. The materials you will need for your art book are, if you're using non-recycled materials, you will need some A4 card. It could be coloured and it can also, I've got white as well, so it could be white or coloured. And if you're using recycled materials, you will need um, old cereal packets cut down, or if you don't have cereal packets, I've also got a whole collection of junk mail that comes through the door and some old magazines as well. So for decorating your art book, um, if you're using recycled materials, I have collected loads of envelopes at which I've cut down ready to go and I'll show you how to use those in a minute. And what I would recommend doing is watching the video all the way through and seeing how I construct the art book and then going away and having a little think about what you might want to use. But for example, you might want to gather some colouring pencils, um, some paint, I've got some watercolour, some different thicknesses of paper, I've got some normal kind of printer paper, some watercolour paper if you're using watercolour. You might want to use some collage materials, so tissue paper or old newspaper. You might want to use some pens. And I've also got some coloured tape and some normal tape. You will definitely need a pair of scissors and a glue stick. And then if you've got any string or ribbon, then that would be great as well because I'll show you how to use that right at the end. To begin making your art book, um, you need to turn your card into square pieces of card. If you're using the recycled materials, I'll show you how to do that with the recycled materials as well, but it's much easier to see with the pre-bought card, so I'm gonna show you with that. So at the moment, my card is a rectangle shape, but I need to make it into a square. So what I'm gonna do is take one of the corners and I'm gonna fold it over to make a triangle shape. Like that. And then what I'm gonna do is cut this part of the card off. So you want to be left with this triangle on this side. And when you fold it out, you have a square piece of card just like that. And before you start to make your book, you need to make sure that you have four pieces of square card that are exactly the same, ready to start making your book. If you're using recycled cereal box, it's going to be a lot um, stiffer than this card, but it does work. You might just need to be a little bit more patient. So I'm going to fold it over again and really press it down with this one because it's much stronger. So this is if you don't have any card at home. This is if you want to use all recycled material. And then I'm going to cut the excess off like this and put that to one side. And again I've got a piece of square cardboard. So if you don't have um, 
any card and you don't have any cereal boxes. We can also use paper, which, so this is all from um, junk mail and I've also got some magazines and I'm gonna quickly show you how we can use this paper to make something just like card. So what we're gonna do is you, if you've got a magazine like this, I want you to separate all the pages into single sheets. Just really quickly, it doesn't have to be neat and tidy. Once your recycled paper is in separate sheets, you'll need your glue stick. And what I'm going to do is cover my whole sheet in glue. And this doesn't need to be neat, but it does need to be all over, right up to the edge of your paper. So don't, if you get a little bit on the table, that doesn't matter, you can wash it off afterwards with a bit of water, because you want it to go all the way to the edge. If you don't go all the way to the edge, the paper won't stick together. The next thing I'm going to do is get another piece of paper and I'm just going to stick it together. It doesn't have to be perfect. So I have just stuck four sheets of paper together, but I still don't feel like it's thick enough. What I'm actually doing is trying to replicate the thickness of the card. So I'm going to put one more sheet on. If you've got double-sided sticky tape, it might work with that as well, but I think the best thing is glue stick. So you might notice that I'm really squashing down each layer and smoothing the glue with my hands. The reason I'm doing that is because this paper is quite thin, it tends to bubble a little bit with the, um, with the glue, with the Pritt stick. So I'm really squashing it down and smoothing it as I go. So when you've finished, obviously it's not very neat and tidy. So I'm gonna cut off all the excess that I don't need to make it a little bit neater. And now I'm ready to do the same thing that I did with these to make it into a square piece of paper. So I'm gonna fold the triangle over like that, smooth it down and cut the end off. So obviously this is quite a long winded process. But I just really wanted to show you that if you don't have access or you don't have any um, card in the house or you don't have any cereal boxes, it's not impossible to make this art book using things that just come through your door as junk mail. And we're also recycling, so that's pretty cool. Okay, so I'm going to talk you through um, some te handy techniques if you're using recycled materials. So I've got my four square pieces of um, paper that I've created using thin layers of um, junk mail, basically. But obviously, they're covered in the pictures and photographs from the junk mail, and we don't want that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use bits of recycled envelopes to cover the patterns and pictures so that I have a blank canvas 
to do whatever picture I want on there. So I've got a whole different selection. You might want to use the pattern that is naturally on an envelope. On the inside of envelopes, there quite often is a zigzag pattern or a circle pattern. But you can also, I've also collected some bits of paper that have just come in, in, in the post as well. You can actually recycle those bits of paper. So to make your art book, I've got my four pieces of square card ready. I'm going to show you how to make the art book using the pre-bought card because it's much clearer to see. Um, but it's exactly the same technique that you'll use with if you're using recycled materials. So to start with, I take one of my square pieces of card. And what I need to do is I want to make another fold going in the opposite direction. So I've got a fold down here and now I want a fold going across there. So what I'm going to do, just move that out of the way, is I'm going to fold this corner to that other side. Push it down. And when I unfold it, I'm left, I'm left with two folds going diagonally across my card. The next step is going to be a little bit more tricky. So I'll show you several times how to do it. So what I want to do is create a fold in the middle of these two triangles. So I've got triangle shape there and triangle shape there. It doesn't matter which part of the card, you just need to choose two which are facing each other. And I want to make a fold in the middle. And to do that, I put my middle finger on the back of the paper. And then on this side of the paper, I've got my thumb and my pointing finger, my forefinger. And I've got it roughly in the middle. It doesn't have to be exact, it's just roughly in the middle. And I'm gonna push down with these two fingers and push up with the finger from underneath. So I'm squeezing the card like this. And then as I squeeze it, I'm gonna pull it into the middle. Spin it around. And what I've done is I've folded it into a triangle shape. So it is quite tricky. You might have to have a go several times and make mistakes and do it all again to get it right. But when you're finished, you'll be left with this shape. And it opens and closes. I'm gonna show you again. So first, of, to start with, we need to make another fold across the middle. So I'm gonna fold it over like that. I'm doing it really quickly so it's not really exact but you can take as much time as you like but equally if it's not perfect it really doesn't matter. So I unfold it then I put my middle finger on the back, my thumb and my pointy finger on this side and I squeeze fold in the middle. Sometimes I put my hand inside just to make sure that I'm pushing the paper out from the inside as well to make sure there's a nice point at this end because it can get a bit flattened. So you just have to persuade it a little bit. Squash it down, make sure those folds are really well folded. And then you repeat that on all four pieces of your card. So when all of your card has been folded, we now need to stick them together. So you need your glue stick. And what I'm gonna do is, it doesn't matter which one you start with, I want to do white, blue, white, blue, but it's up to your, what you, what your design is. And what I'm gonna do is stick this piece to this piece like that. So I'm gonna put glue on one side of my card, make sure the glow goes all the way to the edge to make sure that it doesn't peel up afterwards. I'm going to put this on here, 
and stick it down. And then I'm going to repeat the process, but this time I'm going to stick this piece of card on there. So when you've stuck all your bits of card together, you might need to readjust it slightly while the, ink, the um, glue's still wet, because sometimes they don't all line up and that's okay. Give them a little wiggle, squeeze it to make sure it all stuck together. And that is as simple as that. It, now you have your basic art book. So I can unfold it like that, and it pops out and turns into an amazing sculpture. So if you're using recycled paper and recycled envelopes for your art book, I just wanted to show you a little tip. So if you do have any tape, I've got some nice green tape. I have actually gone round all of the edges with my green tape. It doesn't have to be green tape, it could be masking tape, cellar tape, any kind of tape that you've got. But what works really well with with this is it seals all the edges in so if we have a look at this piece which hasn't been covered yet all the layers although we've stuck them together with glue they're still a bit loose and as we fold and unfold our book those edges are going to start to come apart so that the, the um, tape just really holds everything together and holds everything in so I'm just going to show you how to do the fold, what the folding looks like using the recycled paper. It's exactly the same, but I just wanted you to see what it will look like. So we fold it in half. It's going to be a lot stiffer and you will have to press down a little bit more firmly than you do with the bought card. So I've got one fold and now I want another fold. Now, the squeezing pinchy bit is going to be quite tricky because it's just a bit thicker, but it's not impossible. And there you go. So obviously it's a lot more rustic and rough around the edges than if you're using card or paper that you've bought, but I think you should just go with it. I really love the fact that I've used recycled materials. Uh, the only thing that I had to buy was a glue stick and some, and some um, tape and everything else was completely free. So I would definitely embrace the recycled materials if you can. So when it comes to decorating your art book, um, this is an opportunity for you to do anything that you want. It is a really great chance to be really imaginative and really creative. So it doesn't have to have words, but maybe it will have words. Maybe it'll just be pictures. If you, I definitely recommend going on the internet and having a look at artist books and art books for some inspiration, because I've shown you the basic way of, the, of making an art book, but the decoration is definitely up to you to go and find out and find some inspiration. But my top tip would be to have a think before you start decorating it about what you want inside your book and what you want on the outside of the book because a book has a front and back cover but it also has inside pages and you might not want to think of it a book as a book you might want to think of it as just a sculpture like that so maybe you just want to cover the whole thing in different patterns or maybe you've used really beautifully patterned paper to make your book and you don't need to decorate it because the patterns and the shape is enough. So you've got to think about the space here, but also the space inside here as well. I'll show you with this one that I very, very quickly decorated. So I, I decorated the inside pages, but I haven't decorated the outside. So there's lots of different sides of the book 
to think about when we're decorating. And I've also on this one created a front and back cover from a piece of card that I've just cut out and stuck on. So that's an option as well. You might want to use watercolours. So I would recommend if you're going to do a picture or a painting to go in your book, I would do it on a separate piece of paper and cut it out and then stick it in. Just because you might go wrong and then it's very difficult to cover it up afterwards. So you could do some watercolour, you could do watercolour and draw over it. You might want to use some coloured pens, coloured pencils, it could be some collage. I've got some lovely different kinds of tissue paper here in different patterns. It could be newspapers, it could be a collection of old envelopes like, like I was using from like the recycled version. There are so many different options for decorating your book and I would really utilise the opportunity to think about how you might decorate your book. So as a finishing touch for your art book, if you do have any um, uh, string or ribbon or something that you can tie your book up with, it can be a really nice way to hold it all together, especially if you're using recycled um, cardboard, it's much thicker, it's going to pop out, it's not going to hold its shape as easily. So this one, as you can see, it doesn't stay folded as easily. And you can use a nice little ribbon or string to just hold it all together. Another little tip is, you might have seen with this one, that it stayed standing up in like, a, I think of it as like a sculpture. And the way that I've done that is using a paper clip. So if I wasn't using a paper clip, it would sort of sit like that. But as I fold it out, I can just pop a paper clip on the end there, and then it will stay up and hold its shape. And you can also, if you don't have um, ribbon, you can also use a paper clip to hold it all together as well. Thank you for joining me today to make um, your art book. Don't forget to share your creations on the Studio Name Facebook and I'll see you next time. Thank you.